What's this all about? Hey, you caught me in my work clothes. I am one of those. <laughs> Bet you never thought I was one of those, right? Anyway, no fat possum t-shirt today, no bibs, uh, just got home. Uh, anyway, the mailman was really good to me today, and I'm shooting the opening for uh, two episodes. One is going to be called Mail Order Neck or Neck in a Box, something like that. And I've got probably the strangest uh, episode I've ever done. And we're going to call it Electric Chair. And it's going to be based on uh, a couple of books I just got in the mail today. Anyway, first, let's talk about Mail Order Neck. I ordered this. This is the first time I've ordered from this supplier. Uh, but this is a complete neck. Um, it's got a paddle that's ready to be cut out. The um, fingerboard is done. Frets are dressed. Everything looks real good. Um, and it's time to size it uh, to a box. We'll build a guitar with it and we'll kind of do a review and let you know how it works out because uh, we all know that building the neck, getting this all flat, getting the fretboard right, getting the frets uh, uh, pounded in right and leveled down, um, if there's mistakes there, you end up with guitars that don't play right, buzzing strings or whatever. It's probably the most frustrating part about uh, building guitars. So somebody that can uh, do it start to finish and, and make their own necks, uh, uh, hands off, hats off to you. But um, sometimes, especially the beginning builders, this is a good way. Let somebody else do some of the hard work. You can see their product. Anyway, like you said, we're going to... Uh, build a guitar with this neck and, and do a review on it. Before I forget, let's get the housekeeping out of the way. End of the video, my email address will pop up on top. If you have a question, send me an email. Uh, the subscribe button is that round one in the middle with the King guitar. If you click that, it will sign you up to be noticed whenever I release a new video. And then my playlist of all my videos and a suggested video or the other two on the side of the subscribe button. I want to do a quick musical shout out. I'm going to send, put a link up uh, here in a second. It'll show up on this side of the screen to Wild Billy James. Uh, I heard this guy's music. He's down, somewhere down in South America. I he sounds like uh, any number of North Mississippi artists. You got to check this guy out. And then at the end of the video, uh, look down below in the comment section for a link to. Uh, he's got. Uh, uh, a download of five songs that you're just going to love. So, let's get to the bench. Okay, the very first thing we want to do is this neck has a paddle on it and it's a it's a big paddle so you can cut uh, the shape of the headstock out and so I've got uh, a Gibson a template here. I can also use it to make a silver tone by just uh, rounding these edges off a little bit but we just clamp it down, we take a pencil and we go around like so and then we're going to cut a starter uh, line right here and on the other side and then we're going to take a jigsaw with a fine blade on it cut it out and the first test of this neck will be whether this wood chips up or not when we use the uh, jigsaw All right, that went really well. There's no chips here. Uh, we cut up on that line. Yeah, I've got a little starter uh, right there that I that I did with this uh, flat saw. It gives me a nice place to start, and I'll go ahead and cut this side out now. Okay, I cut it all out with the jigsaw. It turned out nice. Nothing chipped. Um, Everything's fine. Uh, I've got a line up here to flatten this out. I'm making it like one of those air, old airlines that Kay made for Montgomery Ward. It's kind of like the silver tones that were done for Sears. Anyway, um, I'm going to take my uh, sanding drum here. Drill press is on very slow. There's a fine paper on there. And we're just going to eyeball this and get it where it looks 
good and then round off the edges a little bit like so remember this is a cigar box guitar so it's going to have some character and everything isn't going to be exactly perfect you know we're just going to eyeball this and that's looking pretty good so now it's ready for the tuner holes yeah there we go so far so good all right the next uh test for our store-bought neck is going to be when i take it to the router and cut a section out that will seat this box uh lid so it sits down far enough we talked about string height in a video called don't blow your top i'll give you a link to that but what i've done here is i've taken a t-square and i've measured this like this the thickness of the box here and then i've laid that out here and I've cut a groove right there with my fine tooth saw here uh, down to here and I'm gonna have to route this out so what I'm gonna do now is I'm laying this out I know that my 25 and a half inch scale line is right there so I'm gonna line that up to find out where the bridge is going to sit on the box we'll line that up like that that's going to have me make a mark right here and then i'll transfer that into here and there will be a little cut out for the for the neck there but i'm going to cut now because i know where the end of the box is going to be it's going to be right there i'm going to cut a line here and then i will take this to the router table and cut off from this line here all the way here and we're we're looking to see if this chips up is what we're looking for all right there we go there's that side there's that side and we'll take this to the router table now okay i almost forgot we've got to put the tension pins in for the keepers on the back here and that's going to call for us to with the tension pins being about that long there I'm gonna have to end this here so I'll notch that out on the router table too so I've measured how long the tension pin is made a mark and then mark this off on both sides I'll cut that uh, even with the end of the box so I've marked that uh, there and there so we're, while we're at the router table one more time we'll cut this notch out for the neck to sit into like this this bottom end so we can access our tension pins. All right, that worked out great. Nothing chunked off or chipped off. Uh, me bouncing around a little bit did all that, but it passed that test great. Let's cut in this little section for uh, the tail piece. All right, that looks good as well. All done. Okay, so we built, drilled the pilot holes for the four tuners. And um, they go all the way through the back. Um, again, we're looking at this neck here, this mail order neck. And I'm going to go from the top here just a little bit. On each one of those like so and then we're going to turn it over because of course I don't want to uh, bug everything out here we're going to get that right where it needs to be now we're going all the way through and so far so good there's there's no chipping or anything like that of course I'm going to go over this with a little bit of sandpaper now we're going to turn it over and use the tad bigger bit for our uh, retainers there we go we're good a little bit of sandpaper and of course I'm going to glue them in but yeah perfect
no chipping, everything went well. Now, some of you might freak out about this, but oh well. I am masking off the fingerboard because believe it or not, I am going to paint the neck on this guitar black. And there's a reason for that, but so the next test for this neck is I've given it a light sanding to get off the coat that came with it. And now I am going to paint the underside of the neck. There's going to be a, a graphic on the headstock, so I don't have to worry about that. But we're going to see how well this takes paint on this area here. Of course, I'm going to take a little sandpaper and get those edges in there and just give it a light once over like so. Let me make sure we get in here wherever the curves are. Pull this off from where I had it marked off to route out the spot for the neck or for the top of the box. And there we go. This is going to be inside the box. I don't need to worry about that, but it's the side here. there. Now this is going to be covered. Uh, my string keepers are going to be in here so the paint will go here, here, and here. And we'll have a look at that when I'm done. All right, the paint turned out great. It sticks. The test was I'm putting this 1920 Buffalo Head Nickel uh, on this guitar. I'm going to epoxy it in here. Um, but I just drilled a pilot hole and put the Forstner bit to it. Paint didn't move at all. So top to bottom. The paint turned out nice. We're going to have Tammy sign it now and uh, put a coat of protect on it. We're good to go. Thank you, Tammy. All right, we're doing the pilot holes for the tuners. All right, the paint held. No chipping, everything's great. Okay, the final test is we are going to drill out the tailpiece for the tension pin string retainers that I use. All right, there's the pilot holes. All right, that's great. Nothing split out. Looks good. Now all I got to do is drive these in and make sure they don't split and we'll be good to go. I'm drilling the holes also for the uh, little screws that hold this cover over the tailpiece, right? Like so. All right, absolutely nothing split out. Let me get these tailpiece uh, tension pins driven in. Okay, we're putting the copper tape on to ground everything before we drive the tension pins in. There we go. All right, 
right slot to the back on the tension pin. All right, all four in. No splits anywhere. Perfect. I'm just going to find the holes for my covers here. There we go. And we'll punch down the top with the all. And we'll do one like this on the bottom as well. But I mean, this neck uh, has gone through everything I've put it through and uh, come through with flying colors. The important thing here is, especially if you're just starting at this, there's a lot to a neck. There's getting the fingerboard right, getting everything level, the scarf joint, the headstock. Uh, all this is, is a task in itself and an art in itself. Uh, but this neck, I've run it through the ringer. I've uh, drilled holes uh, for the tuners. I've painted it. I've routed it. Uh, I've drilled holes for the string keepers. Uh, I've routed uh, uh, for a coin. It took paint and kept paint well. It came in smooth. The frets were right. There was nothing rough. It was ready to go condition. Um, and I have to say that uh, I'd give this neck an A+. Now you want to remember that uh, companies that make these uh, have different configurations. You want to be very careful about how thick this is. You want to be sure about how thick this is, uh, especially if you're putting heavy strings on these things. Uh, the finger style, North Mississippi finger style, uh, has a big thumper string. Not all necks can handle that. So I'm going to do an episode about strings in the very near future and talk a little bit about that. The only thing that I would change about this neck is I like my tailpiece, the neck to go through the box where I put my string uh, ends here. Uh, if this were another inch or inch and a half longer, I'd be jumping up and down. But again, that's just my preference. There, I'm sure there's ways that you can end this at the back of the box and, and put another way to keep your strings uh, tied down at the end. So that said, again, uh, this one's an A+. Uh, almost forgot, I want you to know that this knack is going to show up on a guitar in a future video called The Electric Chair. That's right, electric chair. And once it goes where it's going, believe me, it's going to get a workout. We're going to test its durability long term. All right, so I'm going to close out this episode uh, with that. Remember, uh, I ordered this neck through the mail. I don't do product endorsements. If you want to know where I got the neck, just send me an email. And while we're at that, at the end of the video is always my email. The round button in the middle is the subscribe button. If you hit that, it will notice you when I release a new video. It will also give you my playlist and suggest a video for you. So with that, let's close this out with a taste of that music I told you about at the beginning. Wild Billy James, the one man band. He's got this uh, EP called Going Home. It's got five songs on it. If you like the kind of music I like, you're going to love this. I'm going to give you a link uh, to the download area for this album. Uh, give Billy a listen. Give him your patronage. And let's close out with that right now. See you next time.